Now we are entering to Pirmeri Disha Arid Agriculture University. Pirmeri Disha Arid Agriculture University is the second top ranked university in agriculture in the country. This university was upgraded to Arid Agriculture University in 1994. The name of this university is due to the name of Sufi Sand Pirmeri Disha of Gulrashri. This is the University Institute of Biochemistry and Biotechnology where the BS program, MPhil program and PhD programs are working in according to the international standards. So this institute is basically working for the biotechnology and biochemistry research trends in the country and around the world. This is the faculty of veterinary and animal sciences in Arid Agriculture University where the different faculty members and researchers are working on animal diseases, meat production, milk production and number of other veterinary issues uh, to work on a livestock as well, which livestock is one of the important industries for Pakistan's socio-economic development. The beautiful landscaping and beautiful buildings with our green plantations in the Department of the Forest. Here you see, this is a new academic block that includes medical center, university green office, daycare center, directorate of PND, controller examination, directorate of financial assistance and study window and directorate of advanced study. This is a building for new academic block. So this is our directorate of control of examinations, new academic block. Beautiful lawns and uh, beautiful plantations in Arid Agriculture University. It is the Department of Forest and Drain Management, Pirmeritsha Arid Agriculture University. Here you see the motto of the Forest Department Forests are the lungs of the earth. As you see, these are the wood stems and these are important field of forestry that's a dendrochronology that is the study of the tree edgings and tree lives now we are going to botany department which is one of the important department in university of arid agriculture so we here in the department of botany pirmer shah arid agriculture university here you see these are the visions and the missions of the Department of Botany and outcomes and the program educational objectives of the Department of the Botany. We are honored that we have a professor, Dr. Ramatullah Qureshi Saab. He is the current chairman, Department of the Botany, uh, Arid Agriculture University. The new name of this university is P. Meherid Shah Arid Agriculture University. Dr. Ramatullah Qureshi Saab is one of the leading scientists in the field of medicinal plants, ethnobotany and plant taxonomy. And he uh, tell us now about the botany departments, what are the f present plans and what are the future plans for this department. Uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, this is the Department of Botany located in Arid Agriculture and Studiology and it has great history when uh, this university was converted uh, from college to university then uh, there was the only department, Department of Botany, opened in this university. So it has a rich history. And on the other hand, uh, we have uh, five labs here in our university. One lab is uh, working on a physiological approach of various plants. Uh, the second lab is uh, working for plant taxonomy, ecology, and biodiversity. This is a plant taxonomy lab where the students work on the different projects related to the plant taxonomy and biodiversity. We are also with uh, Dr. Khafsa Malik. 
she is the uh, principal investigator in plant taxonomy lab and she is working in different projects in the plant taxonomy lab in Pir Meher Shah Arid Agriculture University. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Dr. Mustafa Sa. He is my supervisor. Now uh, I'm working in Arid Agriculture University. I'm Khafsa. So I'm uh, working on the medicinal plants as well as the taxonomy. So uh, my students are working in various projects because as you know, medicinal plants are important worldwide. So we are working on our plant taxonomy. Uh, we are working on a family territory, uh, in uh, working on angel palms, gymnast palms, and different plants. So uh, now this uh, medicinal plants, so I'm going to transfer this medicinal plant technologies to towards the uh, nanotechnology, nano drug discovery. So these are my new uh, innovations, and these are my new projects which I'm going to focus in future. And this uh, lab is uh, uh, for the development of nanoparticles and nanomaterials. So you can see here uh, the escape of this industry. So uh, Dr. Ziaur Rahman Maswani is uh, leading this uh, lab. So he can uh, tell you about uh, uh, coming and uh, upcoming and uh, future prospects of uh, uh, this lab. Over to Dr. Zia. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we are dealing in two different directions. First uh, of all, we are uh, working on the improvement of IC craft through the nanotechnological interventions. And secondly, we are working on the nanomedicine. Like this is the Russian olive. Currently, students are working on this, and uh, they are uh, going toward the extraction of this Russian olive, which is collected from the Skardu region of Gilgit, Baltistan. And here we have few extracts. That is the nanoparticle uh, for the crop uh, spraying on the crops, especially on the brassica, which is in the field right now. These are the samples which are undergoing right now uh, uh, through various physiological and biochemical parameters. And these are the sesamum indicum, which is commonly called as the sesame artil. And various uh, concentration of nanoparticles were used just to, uh, for the improvement of these sesamum uh, uh, indicum samples and now the students are busy in different processing to, for their physiological and biochemical parameters. Here we are in plant nanobiotechnology laboratory so this lab is basically working on different projects related to the nano plant biotechnology. So these are the students of MS and PhD who are working on different nano technology projects. We are honored that Dr. Naveed Saab is the main principal investigator of this lab. Please, uh, Dr. Saab, let us know what are your current projects and what is the socioeconomic impact of your projects in the country. I want to introduce the nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the use of the nanomaterial, specifically the material which are at the nanoscale for, uh, from 10 to 100 nanometer. Uh, we use these nanoparticles by using the different plants and uh, these nanoparticles are very effective to cope the different biotic and abiotic problems related to the plant. Uh, currently we are working on the uh, wheat, uh, specifically for abiotic. Uh, problems like heat shock, uh, like drought, like salinity and uh, for biotic component for the rust and smut and uh, plant blight etc. Similarly we are working for the citrus, we are working for the rice, uh, all of these crops and uh, these fruit plants we want to make uh, them the resistant, uh, a bit resistance and uh, to cope the different diseases. Uh, the social and economic impact of these is uh, we have, uh, until now, we have made the five patents from this lab and uh, these patents are related to the different formulas, different, different formulation. Uh, we want to make, the, uh, make these patents to commercialize, uh, to make the wheat resistant and uh, one of my students like uh, Maria is working on the uh, super nano fertilizer. It is a, a quite new uh, product. Inshallah, and we want to give the, these new uh, super nano uh, fertilizers instead of the conventional uh, fertilizers, uh, which nowadays are being very costly and uh, very uh, ineffective for the uh, farmers. And we want to make these super nano fertilizers, which give the, uh, which can fulfill all the micro and micronutrients requirement of the plant. On one hand, on the other hand, it, it will be very cost effective. These are uh, 
of this program. Right now we have uh, a four degree program, PhD, MPhil, BS, and then uh, lately we have uh, some of the students which are going to pass out in MSc. So altogether uh, these programs are offered by the university. And this way is uh, the only thing there. So students are working uh, uh, on various uh, physiological approaches like uh, stress physiology or heat stress and drought stress. So uh, this lab is dedicated for such kind of uh, activities. As you see, it is the faculty of agriculture sciences that is the study for the BS program, MS program, and PhD program in agronomy, plant breeding and genetics, crop physiology, and number of other agriculture related fields. It's the university green office that is the directorate of planning and development.